first medical marijuana dispensary opens. It is the second facility in the Tampa Bay area and only the third in the state. In Maris and Sulo, she took a tour of this facility. Mayor, I can only imagine this has got to be a very controlled environment. Yeah, it is. It's not like anyone can just walk in and buy marijuana, and any doctor can't prescribe it. Doctors must be certified by the Department of Health, then added to the state's Office of Compassionate Use Registry. That registry is updated every Friday, and I checked this morning. Right now, there are 117 registered doctors in the Tampa Bay area. Patients have to see a doctor for at least three months before marijuana can be prescribed. The doctor will decide um, the delivery method for the patient, whether it be capsules or oils or vaporizing, and the milligrams and dosage. So the doctor really has to work with the patient to determine what the condition is and the best way to treat it. So the dispensary is really like a pharmacy. Patients bring their prescriptions in as well as they are, their ID. They're escorted through a secure door to pick up their meds. And there's also an option for an at-home delivery. It is estimated 100,000 Floridians will be eligible for medical marijuana by the end of the year. And that includes children who are often prescribed CBD, a non-psychotropic. The dispensary is on North Dale Mabry Highway in Carrollwood. One opened up in Clearwater last year, and dispensaries are opening in St. Pete and Bradenton this spring. Marco. All right, a look behind the scenes there. Thank you, Meredith.